This new electric car, similar in size to a Tesla Model S, is coming to Europe. Not just Europe, but many countries all around the world. In fact, Leap Motor are following Neo, Xpeng, Voyeur, Chinese brands Volvo and Polestar, MG, and a number of other brands into Europe, where I believe, and so does the CEO of Volkswagen, they will dominate the market. Within the space of around three weeks, we have found out that four different Chinese automakers are directly copying Tesla's cell to pack technology. And I'm not criticizing it. I think this is a brilliant move. Leap Motors' new EV is, well, in my view, for the price, a game changer. And honestly, if I was one of those legacy auto companies who are not following Tesla into cell to pack technology, well, you'd have to be asking yourself a serious question. Why aren't we doing it? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for subscribing. It's great to have all you new subscribers here. Welcome to all of you. Welcome back, everyone. Leap Motor just announced recently the C01, which comes with 550 horsepower and a 90 kilowatt battery. Prices start at a staggering 26,770 US dollars. Now, another automaker who just released CTP technology, cell to pack technology, Structural battery packs, essentially, very, very similar to Tesla's structural battery packs, is BYD. And I made a video about that. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. BYD, wow. Their new seal, the new BYD seal, very impressive car. This new technology that Tesla have decided to use in their vehicles is clearly a smart way to go. CATL, the world's largest battery company, being able to provide not just Tesla, but other car companies with these structural battery packs. They're working on it right now. In fact, this is a thing in China that's taking off rapidly. Why is it that only Chinese automakers are saying, yep, Tesla's right, we need to use that. Bang, what do they do within the space of six months? They start using this technology in their cars. It's quite incredible the rate of innovation or the ability to copy, or you know, they need to innovate as well. You can't just copy in the Chinese auto market. It's just truly staggering. Anyhow, what about the Leap C01? Is it any good? First of all, I personally think it looks really nice. This is the flagship sedan by Chinese automaker Leap Motor, and it was just unveiled two weeks ago. It comes at a very, very competitive price, but for that price, its technology is truly incredible. Prices start at $26,770 US dollars, which is 180,000 RMB. The price for the top model, the top spec, is 270,000 RMB or 39,750 US dollars. Just a little, little bit cheaper than Tesla's Model 3 in China. So like I said, the C01 uses CTC, cell to chassis technology, in which the chassis, the underbody, and the battery all integrated into one. This improves vehicle rigidity massively, decreases weight, and eliminates the requirement for a separately installed battery pack. The C01 is a mid-size sedan that can go from zero to 100 in three seconds flat. Zero to 62 miles an hour in three seconds. It's, well, a performance bargain. I mean, if you get the top spec model, which comes with the 542 horsepower variant and the 90 kilowatt hour battery, it's going to give you 717 kilometers of range for 39,000 US dollars and do zero to 62 miles an hour in three seconds. Um, yeah, where do I sign? Where do I sign up for one of these? I mean, seriously. So it comes in five different variants and you can choose from four range options. The ranges are 500 kilometers in the base variant, 606, 630, and 717. One of the things that Chinese automakers and, well, all EV manufacturers are trying to focus on is aerodynamics. The more efficient a car is in terms of its drag, the better it can use energy from the battery, right? This car has a drag coefficient of 0.226, and that's made possible by using frameless doors, concealed door handles, a bit like a Tesla Model 3, Model Y, 
a roof line flowing effortlessly to the back, and low drag rims on all four wheels of the EV. The front grille is also closed to aid in aerodynamic efficiency. To be honest, I think it's a really good looking car, and I really like the effort they've gone to to make this a more efficient vehicle as well. How big is it? Well, it's actually quite a bit bigger than Tesla Model 3. Similar size, in fact, to a Tesla Model S. It's five meters long, in fact, more than five meters long at 5,050 millimeters, 1,902 millimeters wide, and 1,509 millimeters high. It has a wheelbase of nearly three meters at 2,930 millimeters, and a boot space of, or the trunk, as you guys call it in North America, 496 liters. So the electric motor is actually oil cooled and that ensures a maximum speed of 16,000 RPM in the motor, which gives the car 88.5% combined efficiency. It's very interesting to see an automaker release that information. Most of them don't talk about a car vehicle efficiency or the actual motor RPM at all. So it's kind of cool that they've done that. The weight of the electric motor in this vehicle is 85 kilos, and it's designed to last for more than 1 million kilometers. Now, as you can see, the vehicle comes with three screens in the front, one for the driver, one in the middle, which is about 15 inches, and then obviously one as well for the passenger. So, I mean, it's a cheap car that seems to have really impressive specifications and quite a nice looking interior. I quite like the look of it. What else do we know about it? Well, it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip, which runs on the three different screens in the front. Driver identification and personalization are made with face recognition. Up to 25 settings are automatically associated with the user according to their habits. So, you know, if there's other people in the family that drive the car, your son or your wife or whoever, you can have 25 different settings customized to yourself or to them. That's pretty cool. Now, Leap Motor is an electric vehicle startup. In fact, it's one of the most incredible car companies that no one is really talking about other than me. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm sure other people have briefly mentioned it, but I've made a series of videos about Leap Motors EVs and just how well they're doing in ramping up their production electric cars and pricing them at prices that are truly staggering. I'll put links in the description below to all the videos I've made about Leap Motor. You should definitely check them out. Now, in April of 2022, Leap Motor delivered 9,100 electric cars in China. That's a year-on-year -year improvement of more than 200%. It's also six times more EVs than what Tesla delivered in China in April. It seems as though Leap Motor haven't really been affected by the pandemic restrictions in China as their factory is not located in Shanghai. Now, really, we won't really know how good this electric car is until it's tested by media or, you know, we find out more information. But at this stage, I've got to say, it looks like one of the best EVs for the money on the face of the earth. And I've got to ask you guys the question. I mean, really, if you could own one of these, the base model for, say, 27,000 US dollars or this high spec model with more than 700 kilometers of range and 540 horsepower for 39,000 US dollars, would you consider it, even though it's a Chinese EV that you haven't really heard of before? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really interested to know. And as always, have a great day. Bye bye.